Okay, so in this video what we're going to do is create a curve and animate an object along that curve, the object being a camera. And we're going to create a fly-through um, of this cityscape. Now you can find this for my students on LMS. Um, it would be in Unit 66 folder and it's just called Skyscrapers. Um, for anybody that doesn't have access to that, you can just make a simple skyscraper so structure. Now the curve itself can be found under the Create CV Curve tool. Now when you're creating a curve, it's best not to create it in the perspective view here. You're best off going into your top view to start off with. As it's a lot easier to actually pinpoint where your curve is going to be in this view. Now so when I'm starting this, I'll probably want to come down one of these streets, take a corner, maybe fly through some buildings. So I'm going to start my curve off by going create CV curve tool. And you'll see that your curve will actually only appear once you've got your fourth point placed. So I'm going to start with my first one here. And it should come along here. Three. And once I hit this fourth one, you'll see my curve is in place. And I'm just going to bring it up here, maybe fly through a few buildings. And come out that side. Once you're happy, once you're finished, uh, you just press enter. <coughs> and you see that your curve's already selected. If I go back into my perspective view, one of the first things that you'll notice is my curve is actually under the city over here. So what we've got to do is we just got to drag it back up. And what, then we can actually hold right click over it. Go to control vertex. And we can grab these pink vertices. And we can move these up and down. Depending on what way we want our curve to go. So we can kind of give it a roller coaster effect. And then once we're happy, we can actually create our camera. For this, we're just going to go create cameras, camera, just a standard normal camera. Uh, it doesn't have any aims or ups or anything like that attached to it. Once your camera is selected, over here, you just hold on shift and we're going to select our curve again. So both items are now selected. I'm going to make sure that I'm in animation mode here in the top left hand corner. And I'm just going to go animate, motion paths, attach to motion path. Now there's a few things I want to change in the options, so I'm just going to go into the options section. It's right here. Um, the first thing I want to do is the start end, I want to have that selected. Um, I want around a thousand frames, so the more frames that you have, the longer it's going to take, so the slower the camera movement. Um, so I'm going to set mine starting at frame 1 and the end time is frame 1000. I'm going to make sure that my front axis is at Z and my up is at Y. And then I'm going to have inverse front selected and if you want you can select bank which means when the cameras turn in the corner it'll bank like a plane. Once you're happy with that you just press attach and your camera's attached. Now we've only got 24 frames shown down here so I'm just going to press 1000, press enter, and I'm just going to scrub along the time bar just to make sure my camera is moving, which it is. So now I can go into panels, perspective, camera 1, so that's the camera I just created, and we can see from that camera view what's going to happen. So once I press play, it's going to play it. So, that seems to be fine, working okay. Um, if you do find that your camera is going too fast, what you might want to do is just right click over the play button, make sure playback speed is in real time. Okay, so that's everything there.